searching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. Just grab my hand from him send me tonight. I run away. has now arrived. Hello guys, the Songboy13 here. It's now time for the weather for the week ahead. Now as we know, last week's weather wasn't too great. Um, we've had a couple of very wet days. Temperatures not particularly that pleasant at all most days. Um, Thursday was probably the best day of the week with 18 Celsius and the best of the sunshine. Now, it's probably gonna be one of the most depressing summer uh, week forecast weeks I've done quite a long time but it's going to be happening this week there are there is absolutely no signs of any prolonged settled summer weather this week in fact the weather is a complete opposite pretty much like autumn this week so I can just skip straight from spring to autumn that's right you hear me clearly we're going to be seeing we've got four days of of a yellow warning for heavy rain at, at the very least so it's looking like it's going to be a diabolical week um, pretty much, particularly the beginning of the week, is going to be very, very wet. There could be some flooding issues as well later on in the week for some localised areas. There will be a little bit of sunshine later in the week, but those temperatures well below average all week long. Maybe a little bit better by the end of the week, but even that, still slightly below the normal values for this time of the year. And also, it will be a bit breezy at times as well, so... Let's start with today. Today's actually not been too bad, but not a huge amount of sunshine. It was a bright morning, but it clouded over quite quickly into the afternoon. And even behind me, there are some showers lurking about. So we've had a 60% chance of rain today. It's been actually quite dry all day, but I wouldn't be surprised if we catch a shower in the next 15 to 20 minutes. The temperatures, again, nothing to write home about, but maybe just about, just about reaching up to 17 degrees Celsius, although rain chances is around 60%. So, and tonight some places, well, the showers wise, some places will either catch them, some places won't. So, um, but it will be a fairly unsettled night. Some scattered showers about, the odd fundry one can't be ruled out. Uh, some drier and a few clear intervals and temperatures lows of nine degrees Celsius. Tomorrow's weather, Monday, does not get off to a promising start. It might start off dry to begin with, depending how further north and west you are. But particularly further south and east, it's already a miserable start. And that rain's going to be pushing northwards, maybe northwestwards throughout the course of Monday. And the rain could be quite heavy and persistent as well. We could see easily at least 20 millimetres of rain in most places, maybe even 30 for some isolated areas in, by the end of Monday. Um, so very wet day, a bit breezy as well, some very heavy rain, and those temperatures, not good, 13 degrees Celsius, well below average. Rain chance on Monday will be at around 70%. That rain will linger on into Monday night, very heavy as well actually Monday night. Um, the rain will not be easing off anytime soon, it lingers throughout Tuesday, it might be a little bit lighter, but it's going to be a, absolutely just a diabolical day. Persistent rain and just out of misery, a northeasterly breeze, never a warm direction at this time of the year. So all I'm saying is plenty of rain and it's going to feel unseasonably cold, completely unseasonable. And if that rain lingers, I'm not over exaggerating, but we could actually get figures just at 11 degrees at the very best on Tuesday if it rains all day with a northeasterly breeze completely like we're in a different world so appalling weather conditions on Tuesday and with more rain to with the uh, millimeters of the rainfall accumulations it's just going to cause potential further flooding problems but by Wednesday it still will be a wet start but finally it looks like it will clear central eastern areas only to be replaced by some heavy showers to return into the afternoon there will be a little bit more sunshine by Wednesday temperatures maybe a well still not looking great 14, 15 degrees, still well below average, but maybe in the sunshine might feel a tad warmer. By Thursday, um, Thursday's not looking great once again. Uh, might be a bright start, but most places will not be lucky though. Lots of showers 
breaking out into the afternoon, a few heavy and thundery ones breaking out. There will be a bit of sunshine and temperatures, maybe 16 degrees Celsius, still not good values. Friday, maybe slightly fewer showers, but still quite a few of them around. There's always a bit of uncertainty with the detail by the end of the week. There will be a little bit of sunshine, but there could be further showers by the end of the week. We will probably hopefully lose the yellow weather warning for rain by then. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if we may get another weather warning for Friday with the same problem with rainfall totals. Friday's temperatures, 17 are the very best on Friday, maybe a little bit closer to average, still not what we want to see at this time of the year. And as we approach into next weekend, I've got a 10k run next Saturday. At the moment for next Saturday, not... It could be worse. Um, it's going to be... It won't be a complete washout, although having said that, the grounds will be very wet. A lot of cloud, some sunny spells, but again, a few scattered showers breaking out into the afternoon. Temperatures, once again, very limited, 16 to 17 degrees Celsius. I haven't mentioned much about rain chances because it's going to be fairly high. So for Monday, 70% chance of rain. Tuesday, 70% chance of rain. Wednesday, 60% chance of rain. Thursday, 60% chance of rain. Friday, 50% chance of rain. And same again on Saturday. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Saturday, maybe a tad better, 30% chance of rain. There's always a bit of uncertainty with the detail. So, but... There you go, it's just not looking a nice summer-like week. There are hints though, by the time we get to next week, I really hope that doesn't change, I think we'll be fed up by then. There will be signs, it won't be completely bone dry, but we'll hopefully we'll start to see less weather fronts, fewer showers, with the slight risk of the high pressure and a change in the wind direction to hopefully a southwesterly, it could potentially bring in some much warmer air. I won't say it'll be a heat wave, but low 20s next week will actually be a welcome change to what could be one of the worst summer weeks we've had for a very long time. So, hope possibly maybe around the corner, but you have to get through all week to deal with it, I'm afraid. So, oh well. I don't think it could get any worse as well. I'm really sorry. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Sorry it was depressing news, but I have to be truthful. Um, like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and there will be several of them out this week. I have uh, some, pl I've got some plans coming up this week. And uh, other than that, uh, have a fantastic week if you can with the weather. Uh, some people may love the rain. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, storm's now out.